Good morning and welcome. We wish to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. We are also grateful to have the opportunity to establish the, to celebrate the achievements of our scholars who graduate today. On their behalf, let us express gratitude for the support of their families and friends and for the faculty and staff who have guided them in their pursuit of knowledge. Whatever our own traditions, let us reflect as we proceed through this convocation ceremony on the many years of effort, sacrifice, and success that have brought us to this time of celebration. In Concolium Universitatis Torontonensis Vocatis Somus, graduates, please remain standing. All guests, please be seated. Insignissime Cancellaria, presento TB Hosque Scolares, ut admintantor ad grados varios, testorque eos quod omnique statuta requirant aptos et edonios esse. Ad perfectum huies provinciae, huies qua magnae patriae, et perfectum omnium nationum, omnibus in taris conjectarum, Ago exacatoritate mihi etoti, universitate commissa. Admito vos sagrados varios, quarum ura bubisto, e peto quoqua ut omnia confitiatas, munaraqua edulos. Gradus pertinent. Please be seated. My name is Trevor Young and it is my great privilege to serve at the University of Toronto as Vice Provost Relations with Healthcare Institutions and Dean of the Tamerity Faculty of Medicine. Today I have the additional privilege of assisting our Chancellor, Dr. Rose Patton, in conducting this convocation. The University is an institution with deep historical roots and many enduring traditions. Among those is our use of the language of the medieval university in today's wonderful celebration. For those in attendance who, like me, are less than fluent in Latin, perhaps a translation will be helpful. For my part, I said, most distinguished chancellor, I present to you these scholars that they may be admitted to the various degrees, and I bear witness that as far as all things which the statutes require, they are fit and suitable. Much more significantly, from the standpoint of the graduating class, the chancellor then replied, to the benefit of this province, this great country, and to the worldwide community of nations, I, by the authority vested in me and in the whole university, admit you to your various degrees, grant to you the rights, and ask of you the responsibilities of doing all these things which pertain to those degrees. And so, as my first order of business, I am delighted to salute you, the graduating class of 2022 from the School of Graduate Studies, Temerity Faculty of Medicine, and the Faculty of Law. That's it. You're done. Warmest congratulations. I would also like to bid a warm welcome to everyone who has joined us here in Historic Convocation Hall. It is so wonderful to be able to celebrate the fall convocation season in person once more. Graduates, today the University of Toronto is formally recognizing for you for your hard work, your accomplishments, your perseverance, and this very important milestone. Speaking of perseverance, you have successfully completed your program in extraordinary and challenging times, and today's celebration is all that more meaningful for it. 
Each of you as a member of the graduating class is joining an extraordinary family of University of Toronto alumni. They number close to 640,000 people in more than 190 uh, countries around the world. They are the university's living legacy and our greatest ambassadors. U of T alumni serve in leadership roles in every corner of the globe and in every walk of life. They are prime ministers, justices, scholars, authors, community and business leaders, scientists, and professionals of every description. Their endeavors have shaped the world we live in and the way we understand that world. We have no doubt that the University of Toronto's high international standing can be attributed attributed to generations of dedicated and very talented faculty and staff members. But we also understand that this reputation has been built by our alumni, a group that now includes each and every one of you. So to the graduating class, let me say thank you. Thank you for your many contributions to the university while you were a student. And thank you for what you will do as members of Canada's largest and I believe most distinguished alumni community. And one more word of thanks is definitely in order. I'm sure all graduates share a sense of gratitude to the friends and family members who have helped bring them to this special day. And so I would ask you to join me and the platform party in thanking them with a vigorous round of applause. Let me continue with uh, one small request. One of the distinguishing features of our convocation is that graduates come forward individually to be recognized. You will then leave the stage using the ramp, exit out the door and around the hall. At that point, you will turn left and quietly re-enter the hall as your peers continue to be recognized. In this light, I encourage you to think of the very last person on the stage. I believe it will be Alborz Nurani. Could you please stand up, Alborz? <laughs> so everybody remember your classmate. He doesn't want to come and get his uh, 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 graduate alone, so please come back and join us. <laughs> I finally note that the university is a mask-friendly environment. We ask everybody to respect each other's decisions and comfort levels with regard to ongoing health and safety concerns. Similarly, we will forego the traditional handshake, but promise to offer a vigorous round of applause as you pass on by the stage. Thank you for your understanding, and once more, warmest congratulations. It is now my privilege to introduce our convocation speaker, Professor Robert Weibond. Robert Weibond is a professor of political science. He is interested in American and Canadian politics uh, understood historically. This approach spans a variety of subject areas, federalism, constitutional theory, ideational diffusion, healthcare, and the discipline of political science. His latest book, Making a Global City explores the changing ideas of citizenship through the history of a Toronto public school. Please welcome Professor Robert Vipont to the podium. <laughs> Chancellor Patton, Dean Young, family and friends of the graduates, and most importantly, the class of 2022. I want to begin by congratulating you on the achievement that this convocation marks and celebrates. You're all veterans of post-secondary education, but this diploma, I think you'll agree, is distinctly different. When you agreed, when you made the decision, to pursue your studies at the University of Toronto, you probably didn't realize that your acceptance letter came with a coupon for a global pandemic. As someone who wrote a dissertation and writes books, I know from experience just how lonely the act of intellectual creation can be, even at the best of times. 
When that experience is compounded by quarantines, lockdowns, social isolation, remote learning, and both physical and mental health challenges, it requires a level of grit and perseverance that is truly remarkable. So I salute you, not just for your academic achievement, but for your strength and stamina. You did it and you made it. I also want to thank the university for giving me the honor of speaking at this convocation this morning. There's something of a circle of life quality about this event for me. You're at the start of your careers. I'm coming to the end of mine. Yet despite the difference in years, we remain connected and entangled in all sorts of ways, as the image of the circle of life suggests. So, among other things, let me thank you in advance for taking care of me in my retirement. <laughs> I offer this thanks especially to those of you who are medical professionals. <laughs> my colleagues in public health tell me that if I'm typical of the population as a whole, I will be seeing quite a bit more of you in the seventh decade of my life than I did in the previous six. And speaking of doctors, I rarely have a captive audience of 200 medical professionals, so I hope you won't mind if I take a minute to describe my symptoms, my condition, <laughs> and my case history. In a word, I have a frog fetish. I have frog tea towels. I have a frog butter spreader. I have frog tree Christmas tree ornaments. I have frog art and a frog percussive instrument. I have various frog chuchkis and an elegant fr frog box to hold them. But the pride of my collection is something my wife gave me some 25 years ago, a beautiful green enamel lapel pin in the shape of a frog. My distinguished colleagues wore their Order of Canada lapel pins to work. I wore my frog. And that was all right. Apart from everything else, my frog pro pin proved to be a good conversation starter. One of the most memorable was an exchange I had with my friend Archie. Archie was a medicine person who came from a Cree First Nation in northern Quebec. He noticed my frog one day and said, you know, in my culture, the frog is particularly auspicious. I asked why. Because, he explained, the frog is the one animal in the animal kingdom who can understand the languages spoken by all the other animals. So it falls to the frog to translate, and that is what allows the animals to converse with each other and to live in peace. At the time, I was just beginning what became a multi-year term as chair of a large, rambunctious, and often fractious department as you might expect from a group of scholars who study politics. And as I thought about what Archie had said, it occurred to me that my job as chair was to emulate the role of the frog in the animal kingdom. That is, to translate the various and contentious languages of politics and political science so that my colleagues could speak each to each other in ways that would promise reasoned and respectful disagreement rather than descend into hot, polarized, conflict. I can't say I succeeded entirely, but that became my job description. Now, a lot has changed, obviously, since my conversation with Archie 20-odd years ago. But if anything, the need to find languages of mutual understanding has grown that much more urgent. I don't need to tell you that our societal conversation has become more brittle, more polarized, and more toxic in recent years. The rise of social media, among other things, has created platforms and vehicles for misinformation and disinformation that were largely unheard of when I was chair back in the day. We live, it seems, in a world that toggles between radical skepticism on the one hand and stubborn intransigence on the other, between conspiracy theories and echo chambers. I realize that's not news from the frontiers of knowledge. But it does raise a question. Where do you and the knowledge you've acquired fit into this fractious, 
cacophonous world. At a minimum, I think the fact is that where whatever you do and wherever you end up, you will have to translate your knowledge to clients or colleagues or students or patients who don't always speak the same language as you, literally, but also metaphorically. People who may not share your view of the world or the evidence you produce or even the facts from which you begin. And you will have to find ways to establish productive conversations with them. But the stakes, I think, are still higher and more general. The motto of the Washington Post is, democracy dies in darkness. Yet democracy also dies without conversation, discussion, and reasoned disagreement. It, in this respect, it seems to me that you, newly, min newly minted medical professionals and lawyers and doctors of philosophy, have both a special responsibility and a privileged opportunity, actually, to be the frogs in our animal kingdom, to find ways to help our co-citizens speak, speak with rather than past each other. The task of translation won't be easy, but we've reached a point where sitting back and watching reasoned conversation wither is not an option. And call me a sucker for the quality of U of T graduates, but I have faith that you will summon up, with, summon up the same combination of intelligence and resolve that you deployed to complete your degrees during a COVID pandemic. With your demonstrated commitment to the importance of ideas, leavened by a healthy dose of empathy, I'm confident that you'll find the path back to a democratic conversation that is at once more productive and more inclusive. So again, Congratulations. And again, thank you all in advance for taking care of me and my fellow aging boomers. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you the following candidates from the School of Graduate Studies who are being admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Rinat Abdrashitov. Pushpa Raj Acharya. Kenana Alkakuni. Jeffrey J. Allen. Abhinav Anand. Zain Asaf Mohyuddin. Lucas Ashbury Bridgewood. Oana Christina Baboy. Nicole Barbosa Sultanum. Sivani Baskaran. Brigida E. Bell. Taiwo Olanrewaju Bello. <laughs> Jessica Elizabeth Besaw. <laughs> Aditya Bhargava. <laughs> Kalpesh Bhatt. Nicole Birch Bailey.
Thomas Edwy Blampier. Mitchell Thurston Bonney. Madeleine Yannicka Bonsma Fisher. Travis Kyle Bost. Julia Anderson Boyd. Judith Ellen Brunton. Joseph William Snar Carter. Lei Chai. Chi Shun Chang. Chris Pak Chung Chung. Jessica Copley. Katie Davis. Emily Debert. Daniel Direkolu. Emil Dirks. Marie-Lise Drapeau-Bisson. Robert Embry. Zainab Faroki. Alicia Jesse Cameron Finan. <laughs> Julia Galmish. <laughs> Yu Xiang Gao. <laughs> Alexandru Christian Gatea. Tara Michelle Gralnick. <laughs> Stephen Ross Gravelsins. <laughs> Shane Kevin Griba. <laughs> Nathaniel Harrington. Scott Herder. <laughs> Garion Hicks. <laughs> Paige Alana Hershey. <laughs> Brian Hong. Jeffrey Im. Christian John Imperiale. Torsten Surting Jacquard. J. Wan Zhang. Justin Shane Jarovi. <laughs> Philip Wagner Kasper Jensen. <laughs> Sin Hyuk Jung. <laughs> Yasmin Ali Khan. Megan May Kindry. <laughs> Shirley Kinney. <laughs> Griffin Klemick.
Joanna Kochish. Anna Kopek. Dimitris Kostas. Camille Kravchik. Jacob Emanuel Kvasnitska. Bethany Lassiter. Frank Jacobus Jacoba Landers. Bai Li. Sheng Li. Jen Li. Shen Liao. Vardit Lightstone. Chang Je Lin. Amanda Lily Loader. Kevin Wei Luo. Allison Corrine McCauley. <laughs> Mohammad Amin Mansouri. <laughs> Montgomery Christopher Martin. <laughs> Christina Madsen. Anna Michelle McPhee. Matthew Daniel McPhee. Maria Ventura Mindel. Bradley Mella. Mikael Tomas Mendes. Tristan Milne. Kamdin Mirsanai. Catherine Nellisher. Robert Joseph Novoshelsky. <laughs> William David Ohm. <laughs> Katerina Papst. <laughs> Milena Pandi Sekeresh. Ariel Jacob, Jacob Peckel. Aaron Peters. Sarah Pintwala. Tudor Bogdan Radu. Muli Fahrin Rahman. Shozab Raza. Michael Reinhardt. Hamish Russell. Natalia Ivona Sandoval Herrera. Christina Schrage. Connor Grant Christopher Sebastian. 
Angela Seke. Hamad Sheikh. Victoria Lynn Charlotte Sheldon. Shauna Solomon Krakus. Travis Carson Southen. Filippo Maria Sposini. <laughs> Hannah Zuxdorf. <laughs> Lisa Sullivan. <laughs> Michael Tao. <laughs> Trevor Tostego. Ling Sang Tse. <laughs> Se Ho Tui. <laughs> Isabel Elena Urutia Schroeder. <laughs> Oscar Estuardo Vasquez. <laughs> Vijin Venu. Fan Wang. <laughs> Jessica Deanne Watkin. <laughs> Amanda Marie Wedge. <laughs> Dana Harmina Ray. <laughs> Dylan Yates. Dikla Yogev. <laughs> Stephanie Young. <laughs> Chao Zhang. <laughs> Yu Wei Zhang. Candidates from the School of Graduate Studies who are being admitted to the degree of Doctor of Juridical Science. Hassan Majid Ahmad. Nathan John Shubael Gorman. Candidates from the School of Graduate Studies who are being admitted to the degree of Master of Laws. Muhammad Ali Aminai Chatrudi. <laughs> Filza Belal. <laughs> Maria Teresa Garcia Cervero. Ria Day. <laughs> Bailey Fox. <laughs> Sophia Fosdar. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Gilbo. Suzanne Alfazia Hedayatian. <laughs> Litro Darcel Hickson. <laughs> Aditi Malavarapu. <laughs> Ruman Puri. Sahib Noor Singh. <laughs> Shivani Salunke. <laughs> Timothy Y. Him Wun.
candidates from the School of Graduate Studies who are being admitted to the degree of Global Professional Master of Laws. Hamid Aren Abdi. <laughs> Sultan Tukche Alchachi Ersan. <laughs> Sidra Alam. <laughs> Shailesh Ambike. Chandeep Singh Anand. <laughs> Rama Yogendra Apadu. <laughs> Sunday Olushola Atanda. <laughs> Hassan Iqbal Atasoy. Maureen Margaret Barkley. Manisha Bhim. Eddie Nair Damasio Barbosa. Vidit Deswal. Fabiana Eluterio Suarez de Costa. Malak El Shishini. Alexia Enriquez. Betul Eriilmaz. Peter Christopher Fritz. <laughs> Rohat Gidda. <laughs> Bilal Gül. <laughs> Masa Hajmirfata Tabrizi. Faisal Hassan. Zore Hemati. Susan Hutchinson. Michael Ifeanyuchuku Igbokwe. Tanis Marie Denise Inslee. <laughs> Masum Anil Israni. <laughs> Kashish Jain. <laughs> Anna Juman. <laughs> Abhishek. Kaushik. <laughs> Vasil Kavyuk. <laughs> Faizan Khan. <laughs> Juliana Christina Kotsopoulos. <laughs> Cheryl Law. Bai Sen Lee. <laughs> Turaya Samawal Abdelhamid Lutfi. <laughs> Sarah Madanisani. <laughs> Colleen Marie McKechn. Charlotte McNeil. <laughs> Hassan Mahmoud. <laughs> Kayal Mamadov. 
Rory McCartney. Karen Meads. Anton Mostavoy. Luciano Nika. Shana Nobari. Amy Osman. Kalu Otisi. Norli Marie Padua. Benu Singh Parmar. Zainab Parvez. Hamidullah Payman. Nicole Marie Pellizzari. John Pierman. Andre Plakin. Yepan Punia. Shahreen Rahman. Amna Rashid. Braden Ryan Roberts. Ninette Claudia Sandu. Jillian Haley Sourzup. Patricia Ann Sayo. Sandro Chiliano. Raghav Sharma. Arashdeep Sidhu. Justin Mackenzie Stevens. Lynn Sun. Alex Tagavi Tekieye. Rania Hassan Taher. Bedria Hilal Chelagan. <laughs> Sahil Tareja. <laughs> Sarnaz Torabi. <laughs> Divyai Jot Verma. <laughs> Parinita Rajesh. Yadav. Yan Yi. Jennifer Rachel Zaldoff. A candidate from the School of Graduate Studies and the Faculty of Law who is being admitted to the degree of Juris Doctor and Master of Social Work. Lama El Hanan. <laughs> Candidates from the School of Graduate Studies who are being admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Kelsey Victoria Adams. <laughs> Dana Al Rijal. <laughs> Angelica Nicole Arguelles. Laura Aronoff. 
Michelle Rianne Asbury. Quinn Bonafiglia. Emma Alexandra Brun Hain. Antoinette Bougiei Twum. Amanda Christina Ceniti. Keith Adrian Colasso. Shana Deeker. Nicholas Demers. Michaela Catherine Dimmick. Mitchell William George Doughty. Ayn Ibrahim Amini. Grace Egan. Ahmed Yahia El Borai. Mahmoud El Maklizi. Samantha Angelo Ng Esteves. Andrew Forrest. Martino Marco, Marco Cabra. Robert Grant. Ingrid Claudia Grozavu. Cynthia Shinyi Guo. Dakota Gustafson. Dylan Jade Rose Herman. Danielle Hyeyun Jung. Susan Kelso. Cody George Kennedy. Caitlin Jennifer Kozma. Min Hyung Lee. Sun Ho Lee. Alice Shiming Lee. Nai Jin Lee. Wang Ting Lu. Michelle Lee. Nicholas Alexander Maximovsky. Gregory Donald Martin. Paraskevi Masara. Diana Margarita Mayor Nunez. Lindsay Melhouch Popre. Megan Mio. Keith Anthony Mesquita. Avid Mohammadi. Fernando Montaño Rendon. Mariam Motmayen Dadgar.
Ikra Mumal. Akihiro Nakamura. Timothy Frank Ng. Peter Allen Albert Norris. Harley Damien O'Connor Mount. Chidosie Donald Ojobor. Elizabeth Juliana Osterlund. Yun G. Park. Sintu Patmanapan. Frankie Hoi Chun Poon. Anna Popovich. Noreen Rahmani. Neda Rashidi Ranjbar. Erum Razvi. Ashley Marion Rooney. Chloe Danielle Rose. Taylor Seacard. Noeline Subramaniam. Saro Elvira Tan. Michael Tsui. Mikhail Valley. Jenna Van Leuven. Owen Whitley. Aaron Kin Ken Wong. Sunny Xia. Meng Yi Shu. Jia Hui Zhang. Xin Yang Yang Zhou. Candidates from the School of Graduate Studies who are being admitted to the degree of Master of Science. Mariana Abdul Noor. Amina Abo. Amna Ahmed. <laughs> Ali Ale Haidar. <laughs> Jamal Roderick Al Refai. <laughs> Rojin Anbarafshan. <laughs> Sabrina Armstrong. Sarah Ashton. Laiba Ajar. Valentina Bruno. Isabel Caven. Praloy Chakraborty. Sandy Wan Shan Chow. Amy Chen Shin Chen. Maximilian Hyun Jun Choi.
Yakte Hikandage Savindra Costa. Anglin Julia Dent. Dorsa Derakshan. Megan Christina DeVeard. Laura Douglas. Antonia Catherine Dubois. Kishona Maria Edwards. Edward Elazar. Julia Gallucci. Stavrula Vula Yanulis. Maimuna Diaz. Carolina Gorodetsky. Rashi Pankaj Gupta. Amir Hamze. Bettina Haniko Kamara. Michael Herman. Melissa Patricia Conchetta Huestis. Samantha Ismail. Drashti Jane. Omar Kani. Tuana Kant. Paras Kapoor. Niusha Horshid. Ka Yi Ku. Melissa B. Corman. John Kusiuris. Nastasia Matilda Kuibig. Ji Hua Lai. Jin Young Lee. Ji Won Lee. Michael Kyung Ik Lee. Kai Xuan Leong. Emily Leung. Daniel Lee. Gavin Jinshui Lee. Emma Longo. Angel Lee. Urbi Reza Mahmoud. Erica Ellen McCartney. Katrina Mikhail. Jessica Lui Ching Mo. Cheryl Nguyen. Sinan Osman. Taylor Palichuk. Hugo Aaron Pang. Sarah Sohyun Park. Yeah. 
Natalka Parzei. Rachel Grace Paris. Chiquin Gya Pham. Kashayar Purzargar. Nasem Rayas. Sajit Melaka Rajapaska. Sai Sujani Rasia. Isabel Reckers. Daniel Christopher Rivera. Marlene Rong. Aninda Dibya Saha. Cyrus Adam Savalanpur. Ria Shah. Leia Sharifi. Melika Shirdare. Rebecca Simonian. Sarah Sino. Chungyan Isis So. Veselina Stefanova. Fatima Sied. Stephen Saif. Farzan Taj. Anita Tia. Pascal Tsai. Partu Vafaikia. Leona Vu. Do Yun Wong. Nagam Yehia. Sheng Jie Ying. Chang Yuan Yu. Daniel Giuseppe Zangrando. Julia Zebarth. Nanyi Kun Zhao. Candidates from the School of Graduate Studies who are being admitted to the degree of Master of Health Science. Megan Sarah Johnston Abbott. Yasmin Hosni Abuel Zahab. Ali Reza Aleyasin. Jenna Nancy Baffa. Cayo Barbosa de Oliveira. Jung Won Choi. Sarah Elizabeth Diaz. Amelia DiMeo. Yomna Hisham El Sayed El Sheikh Ahmed. Monica Farag. Mariam Sami Ferey.
Catherine Ford. Evan J. Foster. Dorotia Harangi. Mona Iran Nejad. Stephanie Elizabeth Generet Manning. <laughs> Xiao Yan Ji. <laughs> Sidhesh Kumar Jotilingam. <laughs> Gemma Boyo Kabeya. Mariam Kiwan. Andres Alejandro Cohen. Melissa Chelsea Mistal. Sally Moy. Joanna Mustelier. Sana Noor. Oscar David Palacio Vasquez. Mariana Perfiliev Mejia. Riley James Pontello. Aya Hassan Ragayai. Gabrielle Retta. <laughs> Tufik Rageb Safi. Peyton Alexandra Schroeder. <laughs> Bethany Yin Tong. <laughs> Bo Rui Wang. Candidates from the Faculty of Medicine who are being admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science, Physician Assistant, Alyssa May Agas. <laughs> Haley Louise Jeanette Burgraf. <laughs> Kamandeep Kaur Chhabra. Matthew Clifford. Brandon Hodge. Sulukshiga Jayendran. Shretong Jin. Dania Najib Karamat. Dorothy Bojena Kawa. Taras Kozub. Natalia Elisha Oduardi. Lina Maria Serrano Arevalo. Kylie Sarah Shaughnessy. Rebecca Spiegel. Preinka Vasudev. Sherlene Vong. Karina Paresh Vias. Candidates from the Faculty of Medicine, uh, candidate from the Faculty of Medicine who is being admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science, Medical Radiation Sciences. Ryan Romoir Balagbagan. 
candidates from the School of Graduate Studies for awarding of the Graduate Diploma in Health Research, Sabrina Kaur Hundal. And last but not least, Alborz Nurani. On behalf of the University of Toronto and by virtue of the authority vested in me, I hereby admit all those candidates not here present to their degrees in absentia. As we conclude convocation, I wish to thank all of you for your participation and patience. To the family and friends, and to those in the procession, let me say thank you. You have made this a more memorable event for each member of the graduating class. I would like to thank Chancellor Rose Patton for presiding over today's ceremony. I wish to thank as well the many other colleagues and friends of the university who participated in this convocation, whose names you will find in the program. I will now invite the Chancellor to bring today's ceremony to a close. As I bring this convocation to a close, on this your special day, I hope we will see you often in the years to come. And I invite you to stay connected. We will be very interested in your journey. And we know that you will make an impact for the better in whatever path you choose. Conquilium. We miss them.